You'll never do enough to be right. It's only because of him. So if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. That's in your heart, not up here in your head, down here in your heart. If you believe on him, because see, when Paul and Silas was in jail, they'd been beaten, striped, and there come a great earthquake. This was God on the scene. I'm not talking about some earth, natural earthquake. But God came on the scene in the book of Acts. And when that happened, the prisoners, all their bands were loosed. Every prisoner. And if anybody escaped jail from that time, the jailer might as well end his life because he's going to be put to death. That's how severe it was. I don't think I'd want to be a jailer, really. Because <laughs> that's pretty... Pretty severe punishment. If you lost a prisoner, you lose your life. Well, when the prisoner looked out and he seen the doors flung open, he grabbed his sword and he's going to end his life. And Paul cried out from inside the prison. He said, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. And when the jailer seen what a miracle had happened, he, t he cried out to Paul. He said, what must I do to be saved? See, Paul and Silas, about the midnight hour, begin to sing praises to God. Their backs beaten off. They were in stocks. But, but they begin to sing praises and praise God. See, most of us in a time of trouble, we don't do that. We just want to bicker and complain and gripe and all those kind of things. We haven't learned how to praise God in these situations. Because the Bible says, in all things, give thanks. Not thanks for all things, but in all things, give thanks. We haven't learned how to do that. We've learned how to bicker, complain. That's, that's that old Egypt side wants to, wants to come back and live with us. Amen. But he said he heard something there. That jailer heard something in there he'd never heard before. Praises go up to God, singing. And he said, what must I do to be saved? And Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Believe. Believe in your heart. And that's what Romans 9, 10, 9 and 10 says. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Well, I believe it's just that simple too. Praise God. Well, our time has is, is come again here. Father, we thank you for these requests that's come in. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Well, this Sister Donna, I believe, and uh, Holland family, and Eller. I believe God do something for you this morning. But now, if you've been listening, you, you just stretch your faith out there and you receive from God this morning. It's nothing God's going to have to do. It's just something. It's something He's already done. And you just say, Lord, I believe it. I'm going to receive from you this morning. Praise God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for each one in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the Word of God. And Lord, I thank you that Jesus came and he bore our sickness, he bore our disease. He bore, he bore it for these people. He's already done it. Now, Father, it's up to us to receive from you. And we receive from you today, right now, in the name of Jesus, we receive our healing from you. I encourage you, if you're listening, you just say, Father, I receive. Maybe you've not called your prayer request, and you don't have to. But say, I receive. Where are we at today? Say, I receive. Father, I receive from what you've done. I receive by faith. I don't have to see it. I'm going to believe according to your word. That's good enough for me. And I believe on Jesus. I believe what he's done for me. And I receive that into my life.
Father, I thank you that by your stripes we are healed. And Lord, if there be a person today that don't know you, 